we'll be here the next hundred years, so we want to make sure that we, you know, it's been brought to my attention that we might need the need to have a parade, which I think would be, you know, I, I'd love to have a parade during that time. And uh, correspond it with the barbecue, somebody mentioned that, uh, and the reenactment. So it's just some things, maybe we just need to sit down and have a meeting and get these other guys' ideas on what that, part that's of why I brought the city up so, so we could, everybody would, be um, on, yeah. would know what, uh, what they mean. Um, the, uh, so we'll get, we'll get together with, this, with regard to the signs in and so forth. The other thing I wanted to bring up was the, uh, you had mentioned two weeks ago that we would, we would have a meeting regarding the, what was, pre what was presented as a loan for the uh, community center. When I read that document, it doesn't, it's not a loan according to what, my interpretation of it, it's a bond issue. Well, it is a loan. It's, it doesn't it's say a that. Bond, it's, it's a bond loan, if you want to call it that, but it is, but it definitely is a loan. All the information that I got on it, Jim, and, uh, and some of it says bond, but m most of it says it's a uh, USDA loan. In fact, they got more information today, and the, the, uh, the funds have already been obligated. Uh, the first and I got that says, information today. says the first sentence here, to have prepared on behalf and to adopt an ordinance or resolution for the issuance of its bonds containing such items and in such forms as are required by state statutes and are, as are agreeable and acceptable to the government. And we've already done those steps in the, uh, Alan, every time we have to do the next step, he's guided Lori through that, so we're way ahead of the game, okay, so. So it wasn't a loan, it is a loan, although it says it's a bond issue, is that, what it, is it a bond issue or not? It's a loan, but it's, it's a general obligation what they call a general obligation bond, what a general obligation bond is, it just comes out of your general fund. What, is there a document that says, that specifies what that is? I mean, is there a document? This says it's a bond issue. Do you have another document that says it's a general obligation loan? I'll get you one. Okay, because this is all I saw right here. And uh, I'll, I'll I thought you. it was a bond, you know, according to this. And well, it's it, a and general obligation bond is what they call it. And it uh, has nothing in this about uh, interest rate and or... It's 4%. You uh, should have a piece of paper that says 4%. Uh, I, okay. I, I you didn't should have got that in your, long, in your resolution. This I know it was in the resolution, but, I, but the resolution was to adopt this. And I didn't see anything in writing in this that said 4% is what I'm getting at. And this is what we adopted in the resolution. So okay. that was a point I was making. And, and this plan is a bond. It doesn't say anything at all about it. Uh, alone, and it, what it says is that uh, we've got to pass an ordinance to for a bond issue. Well, here's your document that says they obligated our funds at four percent interest rate. Well, see, I, I haven't. Well, I've just got that today. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the same thing that we adopted. Yeah, I mean, I mean yes, this is the exact. Gave us that all this is is the document that we adopted. It's the resolution that we adopted at the council meeting, mm -hmm. and we sent it up there, and they turned around and sent it back. Right. The same thing that we right, adopted, the letter, is, which is right. our resolution, isn't it? At four percent interest rate. The other thing I didn't understand about it is that the um, low bid on the on the um, construction of the uh, for construction of it was what one point four million or something like that. One point four six. One point four four. One point four four. And yet we, you know, we've got one point eight nine is what we adopted in the resolution. I was interested in what those other items was, the difference That's what we're going to have a meeting on, is so yeah. we'll know more about how, what the fees are going to be. And whatever's left over there, Jim, will be sent back to them on the principal. So you don't have to worry about it. I mean, it, we probably won't spend all that money. But if we don't, then it'll be sent back. That, you know, isn't that right, Lori? Yes, ma'am. But we borrowed money. We borrowed extra money because you have to have closing costs. You've got to have a bond attorney. We have to pay any extra architect fees. And we didn't want to have to borrow money out of the general fund. So what he suggested was ask for extra money in your loan terms so that you didn't have to dip into any of your taxpayer money. 
to um, negotiate any, yeah. any amendments in right. construction. So whenever we go to close our loan out at the end of construction, whatever's left over, we turn around and write a check out of. So are we going to have this meeting we'll, at that time when we we're attempt to... We're sending, a, we're sending a meeting of an item out there that we had a budget. Now, I don't recall seeing a budget. Now, I don't remember saying, anybody saying anything about a budget. Yeah, Darlene Lane said a budget, and so did uh, Mrs. Herring. And had, did most, in fact, Darlene asked specific questions. Well, they questions. were asking if we had a budget for the city center or not. Yeah. We told them that. When they do, that's what the workshop will be on. Was, you know, what they was wanting to know is, you know, how much we're going to charge, what's the maintenance fee and all of that. And, uh, but we'll have a workshop on that, and I don't want to tie up the whole meeting for you, Jim, as other people. Okay, well, I'm trying to clarify some questions that I have, okay? Yeah. And, well, uh, we've, got, we've answered most of those time and time and time again. We well, haven't answered that one there, yeah. all due respect. And, and you said we were going to have, we hadn't had a meeting, so that's Well, fine. we hadn't had time to have one. I've been busy. I okay. don't know what but anyway, I, I, I had been questioned about some some people had questioned me, and I had some questions about. And, and well, my recollection that is that you said we had a, we had budgeted this, and, and as I thought, Ms. Lane asked that specifically, and uh, I didn't and, say and, one word about I, that I budgeted anything. Okay. So. Okay. And I don't think any of the rest of the council remembers anything that was said like that. But they said that we had a budget on it yet. I I took her question to be is. Uh, did we think we could budget for that building? And of course, your reply was yes. And that was the way I took the question. But we don't have it budgeted. We have, right a, we have a built a budget, budget. For it, no. The so question was, is there a budget? And the answer was yes. Okay? That's that's what the question was. And Ms. Ms. Herring brought it up, and Ms. Lane brought it up, and Ms. Schultz brought it up. Okay. So that's. <coughs> That's all I right. it's, it's not in the budget. I told, him, I told him I hadn't seen it. Right. Okay. Right. So maybe it was a misunderstanding on both of our parts, but I certainly so. don't remember him asking that question. Okay. Jeff, you have anything? Mayor, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a motion tonight that we go with American Asphalt to uh, pay the late down the road from out right there to late. And I, I think we've got, maybe we've got a copy of every one of them, where did you get one? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that would be on the table, so I doubt if you have one on there. No, if you did, I would have lost that. Oh, okay. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jeff, you have anything else? Okay, I'm going to ask you to vote on Funds for the USDA loan was obligated, and I've well we discussed that. The Foxy Lady Hair Care Center ribbon cutting is August the 25th at 10 o'clock. 